in this search tutorial um, angle point road design project we will see uh, the third point or search um, tutorial which is about horizontal and vertical alignment uh, open your angle point in the previous uh, project which is uh, according to my project is road from a to t from previous tutorial uh, after you have opened your angle point project you can uh, remove uh, unnecessary uh, features from this which are for example we don't need this external boundary again you can come to this uh, format from the uh, autocad window and uh, go to layers and then you can antique unnecessary features for example we don't need the triangular degree network <coughs> you can just antique them and you can keep the contours only and from this control line we are going to create or we are going to um, produce horizontal alignment by using the given or the survey data so uh, after you have cleaned or antique the unnecessary features go to your uh, angle point window from this uh, open the road click uh, toolbar so you can get them from this product um, drop down window and uh, open a road click and you get this floating road click window uh, before we go uh, to this road click first we need to add the point of intersections point of intersection which are surveyed in the field you have to add them to your uh, window uh, you can do this in two different ways the first one is creating a new layer in this autocad window go to format and layer then uh, on this window create a new layer which is called a point of intersection and uh, modify the color of this and uh, make it a current layer it is already in current layer mode and apply from this and uh, from your survey data or from your uh, field data you have to uh, select the point of intersections here uh, according to my uh, given project data these are point of intersection which are displayed or which are collected from the field uh, by surveyors so uh, open your this comma delimited csv file as a notepad and you get this nursing sting and elevation value for this five point of intersection points so uh, you need to add these five points on your uh, arc mm, on your autocad uh, window in order to join or in order to connect these lines to make the horizontal alignment so select them all and uh, copy and I come back to your autocad window and from this once you have already set your uh, point of intersection which is pi pi uh, let me change the color to this pink color and it is in a current uh, current layer mode and apply and I select this point and specify and just these uh, five points yeah so i hope they are here uh, press escape from your uh, window and yeah this is the point of intersection one again you can yeah this one is also point of intersection and we have these five point of intersections so our aim is here is connecting these five point of intersections to do so um, come here under uh, alignment um, under this road click window alignment uh, edit data then it asks you uh, to add point of intersections point of intersections and these are center line from this okay, it, it requires you to add this point of intersection so uh, press this uh, create new 
point of intersection and here you can use uh, coordinate method by adding the norsing and easting of these points or your point of intersections or you can just pick these points by using this uh, this tool so uh, select this yeah this is our initial point or the starting point of the road then apply then we will select the next point take this and here this is my uh, the pink color is uh, my point of intersection so you can call it beginning of this and uh, yeah okay yeah we have selected two pointers the first one is beginning of the project and this one is end of the project but we need to add the another pointers so uh, add or create new again go to your point our next or second or third point or point of intersection is just let me off the another layers for example we don't need for now okay clear this one Uh, I don't need this for now and I can sneeze or turn off them finally keep uh, let me keep the pointers contours let them yeah. in the center line let this also be closed this point is all layers yeah i have this point is okay mm. create new and uh, select this and apply yeah it is connecting the pointers again uh, select uh, click on the nosing pick this one and click this point and this then uh, apply and close again new click this take the pick the and click your force point and uh, apply from this we have created four in three intermediates and uh, finally we will have the final point this one apply and close yeah this is our center line and we can uh, open the pointers and the contours interval and the index contours yeah uh, we can change or modify the color of our center line yeah. it looks like this 
so this is our center line we are next we are going to provide a curve on this uh, joint center line on this center line so before creating the curve first we need to convert this point or this center line to the um, alignment in order to provide or to give elevation value for this line to do so again uh, come to alignment and uh, convert object to alignment and uh, specify your line or select your center line and it tells you to pick the starting point yeah the alignment is center line and there's this station in beginning of the station or beginning of the project and apply yeah the object or this center line is converted to alignment which means uh, the center line has this elevation value so uh, our next tax will be uh, providing a curve between these two tangents here we have tangent from this line and the tangent uh, going upward to the next point so we need to provide a curve between these two changes but we need to know the design speed of this road in order to provide uh, the curve so here we can see as an example alignment uh, it did that and from this uh, come to curve data and as you can see here is a radius and the t uh, degree of curvature and uh, length of the curve c value or apex distance mid ordinate beginning of the curve and the end of the curve station so you need to know all this value uh, you can do this by uh, taking the super elevation data or horizontal speed table in order to give the radius of uh, each tangent so here if your uh, speed or horizontal speed is 20 uh, your curve will be uh, this much radius of the curve will be this much according to this h to 10 percent and there are different kinds of uh, uh, different kinds of uh, speed tables or different Mm, references so by just using this default as to uh, 10 meter percent and the design speed or uh, speed uh, design speed for this road as 50 you can insert this you can insert radius of this curve by using this design speed so i am selecting 40 design speed for my first uh, curve and create curve for first point of intersection and okay and it will provide a curve value for first curve which is radius of this much yeah this is a radius value for the first curve again next we have to give this radius again for the second point of intersection and so uh, select this horizontal speed again select 40 and then create curve for the second okay mm, again 40 create curve for third point again create curve for force point uh, yeah so we have created a curve based on or by using the default horizontal speed table we have created for all point of intersections 
and you can check whether the curve is provided here for example as you can see as you can see the curve is created for the first point of intersection similarly uh, the curve is created for all point of intersections so our next tax is uh, deflecting or uh, creating the lift in the uh, right side of the road to do so again come to this alignment and offset offset from the center line to the right which is for example like i say that the road will be five meter from the center to the left uh, right side of the road so plus five you can change the color of yeah we created the uh, first lane again um, offset to the left negative 5 this is for uh, 10 meter road 10 meter length road yeah we have created our road which has 5 meter width to the left and uh, 5 meter width to the right of the center line so uh, the next stacks will be converting this uh, phase left and right and the left road to the object or to the alignment as we have done for the center line so alignment convert object to alignment and select the right side road and uh, specify the starting point and uh, it is what it is uh, a row left a row right and there's an apply again mm, alignment convert object to alignment select the row right left and specify starting point and uh, it is a row left apply yeah so we have finished our horizontal alignment by providing uh, the curves for each uh, intersection point yeah this is all about <coughs> horizontal alignment so uh, next to this uh, we will see uh, the cross section in the profile in the next video so this is all about today's video thank you for your uh, time and uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe here and like uh, to my channel thank you again